I'm Amy, and today I'm going to tell you about how to raise and care for your gulfurlary butterflies. I've been raising butterflies for about 12 years now, so I'm a little pro at this. Let's begin. Gulfurlary butterflies are a subfamily of Heliconiae. They're found throughout the coast of the Gulf of Mexico, and they're a very hardy caterpillar, so they're great for beginners. So first you're going to need a petri dish, a reptile terrarium, your butterfly's host plant, which in this case is passion vine, floral water tubes, and a small container about three inches in diameter and two inches tall. So depending on if you're going to let the eggs hatch while outside or inside will determine your next step. If you plan on letting your eggs hatch outside, you will need to once you will need to go find your hatchlings. So once you find your hatchlings, you'll want to either pinch off the piece of leaf and then put it place it in your petri dish, or you may cut it, but I would suggest pinching it because you don't want to accidentally cut your caterpillar in half. Could be bad. If you want to go ahead and collect your unhatched egg though, you may, you may, but I suggest you only cut out the egg and a margin of your leaf. To do this, you may, you may do this by first cutting off a triangle of your leaf and then cutting around your egg with smaller, mar leaving smaller margins. So this way, you will avoid losing your egg when your leaf starts to shrivel up and die. So, once the eggs hatch, you'll need to supply a fresh piece of leaf at least once per day for about 14 days. Then your little caterpillar will begin to eat more quickly. After about 16 days, when your or when your caterpillar gets to an inch, about an inch, whichever comes first, you'll want to transfer it to a reptile terrarium. Were you able be able to keep the food alive longer by placing it in floral water tubes and propping them up in the small container I mentioned earlier? You'll want to have your floral water tubes filled with water so your plant won't die. During this, you will also need to be dumping the poop out of the terrarium and the petri dish. Even though the caterpillars are small, they poop a lot. Especially if you have more than one. Trust me on this. After about 21 days, you will notice your caterpillar starting to web. This is when they produce a silk-like structure or substance that, is, that use, is used when they secure themselves to the lid of the terrarium. Your caterpillars are getting ready to go into J. A non-technical term I use to describe the shape they hang in before going into chrysalis. This is when a caterpillar sheds its outer skin and the underlying layer becomes a hard shell, in this case brown and leaf-like looking. After about 10 days you may begin to see wings through the chrysalis and then after about 14 days you sh your butterfly should emerge. Uh, now all that's left to do is wait for, your, wait for its wings to dry, which usually takes about three hours, and you can go and release your beautiful butterfly. That's it. Thanks for watching.